Welcome back, people, to another episode of Goosebumps the Game. Let's play some arcade. It takes a minute for you to figure out what you're supposed to do, and as soon as that happens, you die. Rip. It was only this one I could interact with, wasn't there? Okay. So, insert coins. In the coin slot. Each coin chats down a slot. After a moment, five balls drop into the chamber with a very sharp clack. Alright. Use. Okay. Um. I choose a lane, I guess. Um, lane and watch in anticipation. Do them. Okay, I guess I just use all these. Fifty points. Who's a man? What? what do you mean? Do do do. Apparently, I've got to do it at the perfect location. Yeah. Right. Right. It's got to be right at the bottom. Do do do. I'm doing ten. Give me that shit. So, 110 tickets, right. So, if it's like the normal arcades that I've been to, you then spend your tickets. Kids bring their own information for prizes. This makes no sense, right? I'm here. I can just help myself to any of this shit. But I need to get the jewellery. Because it said cheap jewellery, didn't it? Um, yeah. So, we could take... You don't have enough tickets for it. I've got over a fucking hundred tickets, you twat. Just swing the string of tickets out like a whip, they fall limply to the ground. I have. Uh, I gotta use the counter because the game is funny. Alright, come on. Oh, whoop, shit, my ass. Okay. Right, so, what we do is uh, we have these in where I live, like arcades like this, where you like play the games and you win tickets, and then you put the tickets through the machines, and them in, and you get prices like this. You put your tickets into the box, but it's not enough for the available prices. Eleven tickets. Okay, so we keep playing until we get thirty-five. Can I play a different game? I do have coins. Pretty good at this game, but you're able to dodge flip five guys before wiping out. About the legend game. Dwarf because it's a truly epic beard. And battlefield arrows actually only move to the left. Several cabards build on screen, a similar level enemy, so you attack. They barely fight back, and each one goes down after a single multi hit combo. One of them drops a bag of money, which you pick up. You spend a little more time exploring that screen. A big annoying arrow appears, prodding you keep, to keep moving to the right. You reach the edge of a forest, and two more cabards appear, this time flanked by a goblin archer. Play continues like this for a while until you eventually run out of energy. You got pretty far. Oh, right, but no tickets. Okay, this is the only thing that gives tickets. I need. I require 35 tickets. Let's go. So we just gotta spam this. It's fine. 50 points. Nice. Good start. Do it again. I wonder if you can cheese this. You can just fucking cheese this lane. Yeah, cheese that lane. It's solved. I thought they would have like mixed it up, so it was more random, like a real arcade. Not just have one lane given 50 all the time. Not complaining. Easy mode, easy love. There you go. Earth Geeks must go. There's a trophy for that shit. Take my tickets. Uh, now, does it tell me how many tickets I have? 36. That's enough, right? That's enough. Yeah, I need 35. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So you can afford toy jewelry. Give me. Uh, what else was that? Don't require any of these other prizes. Some classes, if you want. <gasps> Need some bonus. Don't I require sunglasses? There's some ornament while the airplane's more expensive than MP3 player lot. Uh, we didn't know. I'm sure it mentioned that I require sunglasses, but they're 560 points. 
You know how long it would take me to get 560 points? He's wearing a nice hat, but cheap looking, not sunglasses, praise the Jesus. Green hair, right, I need to get green hair. Suspect wearing red dress and heels. Need a red dress, heels. Right. I've got the jewelry. Um, I've got to go candy store to pick up more items. Um, I'm gonna try the massage parlor and see if that's the place to put down the mannequin. Feeling is, because it said last seen, so was it the... Was it the place to last see the mannequin? More interior. Um, last see the mannequin, last see the shoplifter. Um, floor. Yes. Yes, now it, hopefully, it, it will allow me to dress this bitch. Gently, yep. Then we want heels. Heels, heels, heels. Heels. Heel. There's heels. Okay. Put the heels on. Right, um. Did it say lipstick? It didn't say any lipstick, did it? Fair shop is wearing a nice hat. Cheap looking jewelry. Okay, um. Green hair. Female with green hair. I don't have a wig. So wig is nice hat. Derby hat. Flapper hat. Sun hat. A beanie. Oh, you know, flapper hat's pretty nice, right? Does that sort of look like the one in the picture? Not really. It just had a nice hat. It was more like the sun hat, isn't it? It's more like the sun hat. Yeah, that's more like it. So I need f what we want. We want a red dress and green hair. I don't have that sort of shit right now. So we've got to find red dress, green hair. So we're going to go candy shop. I think candy shop's the way to go. Unless there's something to do with the payphone as well. So here we need to find the right weight of candy sweets. Ooh, pecan. Find a way to get the cotton candy. Uh, no, how crunch. Confusing. Right, so take it back. Take it back. You already have one back. Okay. Gumworms. We just gotta, just gotta weigh everything. Gotta weigh it all. Can you weigh cotton candy? Don't know, it shouldn't be used for anything but the intended purpose. Sometimes yogurt? What the fetch? Oh, I quite fancy some yogurt. For example, right, you need something that weighs the amount. So just, you just put it on the scales. Ah, you. How much does this weigh? Okay, 0 0.39. Hmm. Then it straight away takes it back off. It really is a matter of finding something that weighs one pound. Sourbouts. Did I weigh sourbouts before? Memory doesn't help, neither. Um, That's way too light. I, I hope I'm doing this right. Fruit caps we've tried. Fruit orbs. That sounds pretty heavy. Can I take an additional bag? Have one bag, one at a time. It's fetching them. It's too light. How about? <gasps> you combine and add up the weights. Aha! We got it. I figured it out. Right. 0.37. Okay. So let's just keep adding shit. So it should weigh a bit more than 0.37 now. Use 0.55. Okay, so we need 0.45. It'd be an idea if I wrote write down the weight of each of the sweets. Oh, piss off. 
And then I can just do some quick math. That would work. Oh, these were small. So that's not going to increase it by much, right? 1.65. Yeah, I sh this could take a little while, I'm sorry. But I think the best way to do it is I write down the weight of each suite and then work out what adds up to exactly 1.00. I need 0.82. And also the thing is there's no option of taking out just one thing. It's empty at all. That is like the thing. Unless it's really dumb and all I have to simply do is... Oh, the bag broke. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna like, again, take some notes. Proper gamer style, yo. You know, proper gamer style, right? Whoops, what have I done? Right, firstly... Uh, oh, come on, come on. I could get a pen and paper. That would be easier than using the telephone. Oh, I didn't fill it. I'm a fanny. I'm so sorry. Hey. Welcome to episode 252. Just trying to get this. Ah, uh, oh, I've done the thing. You just got to take. Okay. Right, that was sour bouts, right? Sour bouts. Sour bouts is 0 0.08. Actually, I could save this on my phone. Fudget. Right. We're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I might do it off recording, take the weights of all the sweets. I don't know, I'll think about it anyway, and um, I'll probably just get advice from my girlfriend because that's how I roll. Um, yep, I'll see you for another one. Toodle pip.